This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we take a little rumor from here and a dab of rumor from there, mix them up, and serve you up a cake of rumor awesomeness. Up this week, we're going to talk about the rumor du jour. The full Samsung Galaxy S4 specs have allegedly been revealed. More iPad 5 case leaks are backing up redesign rumors. Google's looking to get into the subscription music business, and Windows Blue, the successor to Windows 8, could be out by summer. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. So unconfirmed specs of Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S4 have appeared courtesy of the folks at Sam Mobile. These guys have been pretty dead on in the past. And they've revealed practically everything they're going to know about the device. So if you want to be surprised on the 14th when Techno Buffalo is there covering the event, cover your ears, cover your eyes, hide your children. All right, so enough of my jibba jab onto the goods. We're looking at a 4.99 inch full HD Solux display, Snapdragon 600, 1.9 gigahertz clock speed, 2 gigs of RAM, 3 sizes, 16, 32, and 64. A very unlucky 13 megapixel camera, 140.1 by 71.8 by 7.7 millimeters, and even the weight we know, 138 grams. Something to note here though, is that Samsung is allegedly ditching its own Exynos chip and AMOLED tech because of overheating and production issues. Sam Mobile sources also shared more information about the design itself, saying there's gonna be a removable plastic bag, which we've seen before, but they threw in something fancy, saying it's gonna be flanked by aluminum. A home button with touch buttons on either side, so that's pretty standard, and come in both black and white, and then inevitably a slew of other colors as the life cycle continues. More alleged iPad 5 cases are leaking out from where else but China, further establishing that Apple's going to introduce an iPad mini-like redesign, which for my money is a pretty good thing. I love the way the iPad mini looks, especially the black one. When might this guy be coming? Look for it to hit in the second half of the year. And probably come in the same size we have right now, so going all the way up to 128 gigs. I would love to see the iPad 5 take the same design as the iPad mini. It'd be really the first big redesign that we've seen, a full redesign in quite some years, even from the original iPad to what we have now. It certainly has been evolutionary changes. So change it up, Apple. Change is good. So reportedly, Google's in talks with major industry labels to offer its own sort of Spotify clone because they're Google and they can do whatever the hell they want. According to the Financial Times, which... Definitely has a spotty background. The search giant has initiated talks with the major music labels about possibly offering a streaming service. It's unclear when it'll be available, but the report is confident enough in saying Google's gonna offer the subscription-based model along with ad-supported free and limited access to songs. This also is sort of following up rumors you've been hearing for a while that Apple's also been talking and offer the same thing. Although it's really gonna be fun to see which company's gonna be the first one to offer it. With Google I.O. coming up in May, perhaps we'll find out a little bit more. Windows 8 is still shiny and new, but supposedly its successor, codenamed Windows Blue, will be here by summer. A public preview of Windows Blue will reportedly be ready within the next few months. Not going to be giant changes to what we've seen with Windows 8, more incremental fine-tuning. So they're allegedly focusing on improving Windows search charm functionality, with Bing obviously playing a major part in how it's handled. And to quote... A number of scenarios are being targeted, including the ability for users to search for a movie and have apps surface that content and provide a quick way to play it. And that is according to The Verge. Windows Blue launches, it'll be available to existing Windows 8 users, adding support for 7 and 8 inch devices along with IE 11 built in. And of course, an update for Windows Phone is being planned as well as Microsoft searches to sort of better merge both platforms. So I'll have Blue for desktop and Blue for phones. So let me step aside from the rumors for a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite. You know them, you love them, you should probably be using them. Carbonite Business Online Backup is automatic backup for all your computers, servers, and external hard drives at your home, office, or small business. Just set it up once and Carbonite will protect your computer files so that you can stay focused on running your business. No hardware is required. For a low, flat annual fee, Carbonite keeps your business protected no matter how many computers you have or where they're located. Start your free trial, no credit card required, at Carbonite.com. Enter offer code TECHNO today, and it'll get free two months if you decide to buy. Again, that's Carbonite.com. Enter offer code TECHNO for two free months. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give us a big fatty boom batty thumbs up. We appreciate it. Be sure to check us out at TechnoBuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you next video.